Hello everyone, this is Vanessa Anderson from Norway. Hello to all the netizens. So right now we will talk about how you will stay in Norway. Okay, so what are the requirements of staying in Norway? I am very happy because even though I am, I, I cannot speak Norse right now because my priority four years ago is that I have a job. That is the most important. And as uh, I am a supervisor in one of the biggest hotel here in Ukraine, so I'm handling a uh, different kind of nationality like Poland, uh, Lithuania, Latvia, Thailander, like that. So we speak English at work. And of course, uh, it doesn't mean that you cannot work if you cannot speak North. It depends on where you apply. So I am very lucky that I found this job because that time I don't know how to speak Norse until now actually. Okay, so after uh, three years, you can apply. Uh, first year that you will be here, you will have your residence permit or residence visa or card, okay? Then after that, you can apply your uh, permanent visa after three years. But there are certain requirements that you need to follow. For example, the number one is you should have a certificate that you pass the exam in your school. Uh, way, way back 10 years ago, okay, or 7, 5 years ago, uh, they have uh, 300 uh, uh, hours that you need to attend the uh, school and it doesn't matter if you don't pass the exam or not. Important, you are there for 300 hours in the school. But right now, in my time, uh, you need to have, I think, 600 hours. So it's going to be like six months to, to go. But you have to pass the exam. Okay? But you, uh, if, you, if you don't have time to go to school, it doesn't matter. Important is you can study at home. Okay? But you need to pass the exam. If you can show your certificate that you passed the exam, uh, you can apply your permanency. So that uh, last uh, two months ago, I applied for my permanency because uh, I already I, I'm already here for four years, so I'm allowed to apply for permanent. Okay, but since I don't have my Norse course, eh, they don't allow because uh, it's this is one of the requirement if you want to be permanent. So I don't have any choice but to study. So this August, that is my plan to study in the school and I already asked my boss if I will uh, I will leave for six months because I want to study although if you can study at home it's okay but of course if you are at home you don't have a choice but uh, do something else but if you will go to school definitely you have to wake up early in the morning prepare yourself for the school if you have homework you have also the preparation and everything so I decided I will go to school. But right now I have a new job and I'm very happy for that. I am laid off until April 30. So I, I look for another job and I'm very glad and I'm very happy that uh, they hire me. So I said to myself, I need to study because the people, of course, they can speak English very well here in Norway. But definitely they will talk to you in English and I don't understand it at all. Because I don't know any any words. I, I know some little word, not a sentence. Like midag, it means let's eat. Ta means thank you. Good morning means good morning. Very simple. If you will ask something about the word, I cannot answer you in more. So I said to myself, I need to study at home. Okay? So I went to the library yesterday to get this library card. Yes. Okay get the library card so i applied first to the to i went to the library to borrow some book okay so yesterday i borrowed uh, two kind of book okay so i have this two book i have the textbook and the workbook okay i can borrow this for free and i need to return back after two weeks okay so i have this two after two weeks, if I still need the book, I, I have the right to borrow this for free. So, of course, I cannot do it for two weeks because from Monday to Friday, I have a work from 7 a.m. until 3 p.m. I don't even have time. And my YouTube, I don't have my LS anymore because of my job. So, when I come back home, I'm already tired. First, I will eat. Then, I will take a nap. 
after that, usually we watch movie me and my husband. Okay, so uh, this this the uh, at night this is the time that for me uh, for me and my husband. So I don't have time for my YouTube. So I it's gonna be more blog. So to those who are my members, all you have to do is to like to comment on my blog so that I can play your playlist. But the super platinum miles, no need to worry. Even though I don't have my LS, I will play your playlist from Monday to Friday. Okay? But those people who have the gold, silver, and the platinum, you have to comment on my blog so that I will play your playlist. But I make sure that Saturday and Sunday, I will have my live streaming. Of course, to, I missed uh, this uh, live streaming of mine. Okay? But of course, my priority is my work. That is the, the, the good thing here in Norway because the, the salary is very good, more than good, so more than I expect. So that's why I need to take care of my job. So I hope that all my members are, uh, don't, you don't need to worry because I will still play your playlist as long you will also uh, do the thing that I'm telling you, you have to comment on my live stream, okay? Or on my blog, sorry. Uh, Saturday, Sunday, I have my live streaming. So please attend my live streaming to those people who have the silver, gold, and platinum. So so that I can play your playlist. So I am very happy now that uh, uh, I also uh, put some notes on, on each part of the house to tell this is uh, Norwegian no, English first and then the Norwegian or the Norse uh, the how you pronounce because the, pr the pronunciation is really totally different in English so that is very important and I have my husband with me I can ask if my pronunciation is okay and I have the Google Translate also I can do that this is what we say if you really want to do you will do something okay you, you can do anything if you want to do something but if you don't want you have many alibis and uh, for sure, those people who are in different uh, countries, they have some different rules also. Here in Norway, you can have your Norwegian passport. If you will pass this uh, B1, B2, it's not, uh, we have A1, A2, this is only for the permanency. And also they have oral tests also. So it's very important if you have, if you want uh, some promotion to your work, if you cannot speak their language, definitely you will not be able to get the promotion. You, you will always be in the same position which you applied. So if you have a goal in life, if you want to have a more good salary than you have right now, you have to work okay and make sure that if you have any questions do not hesitate to ask that is important also do not pretend that you know but uh, the, for sure you don't know anything yet because you don't know their language so you can ask if you are shy you can check google you know google is a part of my life now because anything that i want to ask i just ask google so be be sure that you are 100 percent uh, sure what you want in your life okay you want to be a uh, Norwegian passport someday you have to work on your Norwegian course if you don't have time because you are already working and that is your priority you can borrow the book from the library and you can study by your own of course you have to give time it's a matter of time management so when you do you I'm always waking up myself like 6 a.m. in the morning that's my routine that's my body clock even I sleep like uh, 1 o'clock in the morning, 12 midnight, 6 o'clock. It's like my alarm. I don't have the alarm, but 100% I will uh, wake up by myself that it's okay. I know it's already 6 o'clock. So I'm very happy even though I, uh, it's difficult. Uh, all the first time, it's like difficult. That is only the first time because you don't have any knowledge yet. But later on, uh, to be honest, I don't have the courage right now to study this course. But do I have the choice? So I need to study because uh, last year I, I already applied in the school. Okay, but uh, the question, I don't have the Norwegian course, the, the what do you call this, the 
basic. Okay, so they said even though you are an English teacher, you need to have the this uh, simple or the basic Norse course because not everybody, especially if I will be in the elementary, they cannot uh, speak English here. They will understand you, but they cannot uh, answer you in English. So I should know the basic first. So I said to myself, okay, at least I try my best to apply as an English teacher here in the Lectures School. But that is their question to me. So I said to myself, that is okay, at least I try. So now I know that if you don't have this course, you cannot apply as a teacher. So it's better I should uh, study uh, here at home during my uh, free time like Saturday and Sunday but not Monday to Friday but maybe later on of course I need to do that so quick because uh, I need to decide if I will continue to uh, this job or not okay so thank you guys for always watching to my blog so if I were you if you are in your uh, country okay and you want to stay there you have to follow their rules okay and every rules there's an exemption of course but not this uh, Norwegian course even though you are already 10 years in your work but for 10 years here in Norway but you don't you cannot speak Norse you cannot uh, continue uh, to have the permanency so if you want to be permanent definitely if you are residents and uh, there are two kinds that you, you will have your residence card and you have your permanent card if you have your residence card you need to pay every two years and that is also expensive okay and if you have your permanent only one year you need to pay and the following year if you want to renew that you don't need you don't want to have a norwegian passport so you can continue but you don't need to pay even in the philippines you know if you have your residence card with you you need to pay the travel tax but if you have your permanent card you don't need to pay the travel tax it's also expensive so if I have this for next year when I travel to the Philippines, because right now I can already apply for my permanent card, but since I don't have my Norse course, they won't allow me. So if I will, uh, what you call this, if I will pass the exam, all I have to do is to go to the police station. Here, the police station, there are part of for the immigration. So they told me last time when I came there, if you already passed the exam, just bring the certificate and we will give you your permit. So that is very good also. So I don't have any choice but to study. Anyway, this is also for me and for the future. So thank you guys for watching. Again, this is Mats Henriksen from Norway saying thank you and my God bless you all. To all my members and non-members, mega love shout out to everyone. Do not forget to like, to comment, to share, and click the notification bell so you will be able to see my latest video. Do not forget if you have a problem of WH, all you have to do is to click the join button and choose what kind of perk you want. But if I were you, if you're busy at work, if you're busy at home, you don't have the time to attend to my live streaming. All you have to do is to choose the uh, Super Platinum Mice. I will play your all your playlists, not your LS. So definitely, please, if you are my members, if you don't have your uh, playlist with you, I am asking you to please uh, put your playlist in your YouTube channel because that is very important. And uh, make sure that you click the notification bell so you will see my latest video. This is my Sanderson saying, may God bless you all. Thank you and goodbye. See you again tomorrow.